Yo, we back. It's the Drop Night nice Show. Your man Sean Beasley. That was Sway Lee featuring his other partner, Ray Schwimmer. <laughs> when you say it like that, you make it sound like a couple. <laughs> his other partner. Ray Schwimmer. No, you know what? I actually like them too. They put out very quality yeah, they, they, sound. They do. They do. They do. But we have Village of the Smoke in the building. Officially, Officially here. Officially in the building. So- what up, what up, what up? Listen, it's like 711 of them, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they definitely got the Wu-Tang feel going, like, yeah. as far as people. And I'm, I'm interested in to wondering, like, who has whose style? Like, who's the Ghost? Who's the Raekwon? Who's the RZA? It does, all right, who wants to lead off? Who, who is there anybody who produced out the bunch? There we go. Put the mic up. Tell us who you are. What, what's your name? My name is KD. Um, I'm a producer. And I do artistry, too. Okay. So I do both hand in hand. All right. Um, KD, um, at what age did you start this whole uh, this whole artistry? I started at, what like, produ- 13. I was a book when I did this. So, like, I started from... Wait, wait, wait. You were booked as far as... You no, know what that no, means. a book. No. I mean, like... You know what that means, right? <laughs> you was in the jail? No. Oh, because no, when no. you say book in my no, term, you I, are. Like, I, I just got out of prison not too long ago. But go ahead. <laughs> like 13 i started from fl studio and i was just like i was listening a lot like of 80s music like b101 came on the radio i was listening oh, wow. to that i was listening to like just all different type of music i was like i wanted to make it myself because i just like listening to melody and stuff so i came up with like just making beats on a laptop no internet i was mad so like <laughs> i just started from that okay. and then it continued on and it just came up to everybody just getting on beats and stuff. 13. Mm-hmm. Wow. You wow know, that's that's a prodigy age, yeah. right? You know, when you start young. So, all right. Everybody run down. There's about it's six. Three, it, y'all consist of three groups, right? So, tell me who's in what group. Break that down. There's really only one group. We came from three different groups. So, three <laughs> different groups, and y'all formed as one group. Why did y'all decide to come together as one? The universe brought us together. Ah. I can really say. He must be the Rayquan, not the bunch. I like, know. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have jokes all night. Um, and the pretty one over here must think he's Tony Stark. So like, nah. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I go by Swanky P. Brothers and my sisters, they call me Swank. Um, I'm an artist, guitarist, uh, first and foremost. I started playing guitar when I was a buck, around like 13, 14. Then that got me into writing, and from writing, I started, you know, getting into rap. Mm. Okay. And from there, you know, different groups, I ran into different groups, and like they said, the universe literally brought me into this group. And uh, it's more than just music, it's a brotherhood. You know, it is, it is. Beats. How about you, Joe, uh, the next one next to you, right here? Put you- um, I go by Drew, Drew Mills. Um, I'm from Uptown, Germantown, and... Yeah, I've been uh, I've been writing for like 13 years now. I'm an MC. I uh, also play guitar as well. Um, Talented. Uh, I do a little bit of audio engineering and I sing. Mm. Yeah. You sing. We Why are you over there? We gonna get back to that. <laughs> Why are you over there? Like, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> the, the one next to you. What's your name and introduce yourself. My name's Sonny Barbosa or Cousin Debo. Cousin, Cousin Debo. Got the Tonight so I'm Cousin Debo. Oh Cousin shit! Debo. I okay. might be scared. <laughs> <laughs> but why is that? Um, um, I guess you know I'm either cool or I can be very aggressive. Mm-hmm. Is that on the mic or is that just like oh, in life? Yeah, in life, period. period. Yeah. All right. So what's your style on the mic? Um, I guess I guess uh, I'm gonna just say I sound like Snoop Dogg. Sonny okay. Barbosa okay. sound like Snoop Dogg, and then Cousin Debo just sound like Cousin. Debo. Okay. So you have a connection to that whole West Coast world. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that. How about these gentlemen back here? Somebody pass the mic so your brothers can talk. <clears throat> My name is uh, Yalil. Uh, I'm basically like, uh, I guess you call me like the main engineer for everybody. Um, I basically do a little bit of everything um, except play the guitar and shit. Um, <laughs> but um, like, uh, I'm from North. By all means, this, okay, is, this cool. is a podcast. This is I'm, internet radio. I'm just making sure, yeah, no, nah, yeah. we we but not um, on a boom or anybody. <laughs> Shout out to Boom Philly, but now nah, we not on there. <laughs> no, nah, um, yeah, just uh, basically like you know, what I'm saying, universally connecting. 
I'm saying? Uh, everybody put together and everything like that, and so forth and so on. And all that good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yo, what up? up? What You're up? the one that hates the Jersey, everybody. No, so let the camera zoom in on this guy. I said, what part of Jersey? She didn't give me an answer. Don't lie on me. So, all right, go ahead. I'm going to let you say yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shelly, <laughs> a.k.a. Hefe, a.k.a. Mr. A.k.a. Got too many names, but you know, I do comedy, but I want to branch out and tell like my story through different avenues. So, you know, I'm pushing through, you know. Okay. So. My shit resonate with people. You know, all right. That's all, you know. So obviously, all right. So for you all to be compared to <coughs> Obute, mind you, when your manager reached out to uh, do this interview, and we were all very excited about it because y'all been doing y'all thing, and I definitely got to commend you all because it's it's not um, an easy thing to move in the industry. You know what I mean? That Especially not, and I'm going to say it because I'm a music manager with success. When y'all are in a city like Philly, there is a lot that I can't compare y'all to. So that's what's going to make it more harder because y'all need to really show and prove at that point because I don't hear that wave sound from y'all. I hear real hip hop. So how do you feel like being in Philly is helping y'all as far as y'all artistry right now? Anybody jump in. Oh, I think you said how is um, it Yeah, do you think this is a city for what y'all doing? No. Um, to be quite honest, <coughs> I feel like it's not necessarily a um, a thing of us sounding like old hip hop. I just feel like we got we are lyricists. Uh, we are all lyricists, so that's why it resonates with you as old hip hop. It's gonna resonate with the young crowd because of the BPM and mm -hmm. the sound and everything that Will and Katie put down. So it's gonna resonate anywhere. It don't really matter where we at. It's okay. all about it's being yourself here. at the end of the day. It's like our music don't sound like nobody else's. Everything that we make in the studio is specifically what we go through. We don't try to pump fake none of that. So do you like the comparison of being called the Wu? It the, don't the, the, it, you don't honestly, matter. honestly, I don't mind it, but it's like where do the actual yeah. like where where do y'all compare us? Like just the I size? mean if you want to jump in, you can. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, it, it's a comparison, but it's only a comparison being the being as though the numbers of us, right? And okay. every last one of us got different styles. Got it. So right. it's not a comparison as in you're like trying to mimic that saying. sound. Got that's it. just right. one comparison we get. We get TDE, we get Migos, we get a few comparisons, but that's the most common one. Okay. They say, and that know, differentiates it a lot. We got yeah. future. So we now we got that clear understanding. Okay, it's about the numbers game. There aren't many group. Uh, you know, groups that are coming out that right. have had the number that the Wu's had. So, but even still, to have that comparison is very ill. Um, so when you say the young sound, all right, and this is, and mind you, I'm an old head. You know what I mean? I don't look my age, but I'm an old head. <laughs> and I respect old sound. So who are the sounds that you all grew up listening to? Well, who do y'all respect as far as like, okay, you know, my mom she used to throw him on. My pop she used to throw him on, and that was probably inspiration. Should, somebody started off. Should try to go down the line. Just one, yeah, one just just line. start it off. One. Somebody. One. Everybody do one. Do one. one. All right, go ahead. Drive call quest. Yeah. Oh, super ill. Go ahead. He took yours. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You all can have two. You know. It's cool. It's cool. Bust the rhymes. I'm gonna put. All right. Up. Okay. Okay. I was a big outcast fan. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. Yes. Go uh, ahead. That's G unit. G unit. All right. Mm. Pass the mic to your brothers in the back. Um, uh, uh, hey long and hard. Yeah, because they were saying, like, most of the, all of them that I was thinking, uh, damn, man. I'm going to give a shout out to all the names. Like, Erica Badu. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, me, Jay Z. Jay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a far, not too much of a far distinction, but, you know, that that's different than what they all just claim. Mm. And that's not a bad thing because he is still the one that's like on top of everybody right now, right, Jay? Um, if Okay. <sighs> What's the latest project y'all are working on right now? Tell us a little bit about that and how did that come into fruition? Um, right now, we all like working on, like, we got a project, soul project together, but we also got like individual projects, like mm. Sunny has his, um, my name is Barbosa coming out soon. Sunny, yeah, my name is Sunny Barbosa, my bad. 
Then we got Drew Mills is going to be dropping something. I think uh, like a what is that called? Reason or you? We want to drop the docu- a documentary. Oh, wow, that's dope. And then we're going to have KB. You know what I'm saying? So we just going down the line. But we do have like a project all together. In right. Too, so we're going to probably drop that whenever we feel like it. Okay. Everything just Village it. of the Smoke. If you want to find all the music and singles that's already uploaded there, all you got to do is look up Village of the Smoke. Everything will pop up. Yeah. Why Village of the Smoke? Where did that whole thing yeah. come from? Uh, go ahead, Katie. Bro, that whole ordeal. Um, <clears throat> The whole deal, how Village of the Smoke came together, was originally it was about the foundation of brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Like you have you have integration as a group, and you have an integration as a family. Um, partially, what um, initiated my thought process for the name was just um, we it was originally S Z M G I A L is all love. Mm-hmm. It was like it was like. It wasn't names. really, yeah, it wasn't really feeling it. Yeah, it was too many names. And then Sonny was like, yo, we got to change the name. Mm-hmm. We got to make something that says something better than anything. And me and KD was talking about, like, you know what I'm saying? Because me and KD, we in the anime. Oh, uh, my niggas read anime. Yeah, uh-huh. so, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> basically, so, you know what I'm saying? KD was like, yo, what about, you know what I'm saying? We make this entire village thing. I was like, yeah, what we call it? He was like, Village of the Smoke. And then I gave it to Sonny. I was like, yo, what you think about Village of the Smoke? And Sonny, Sonny was like, I give it the okay. Then it turned so, into a song. Yeah, and then. Right after the, that. Yeah, so. And then it became a shit. So, wow. Yeah. So and we are a village, though. Like. It is. Um, let's get into this next song. We're going we're gonna to come we back. We're going to go to the break. To, tell us about Dapper Dan. Oh, <laughs> tell yeah. us about Dapper oh, Dan. Yeah. I used to didn't like that song. That's funny. <laughs> I like it now, though. But <laughs> Tell uh-huh. why you didn't like Dapper Dan. Right. It just had to grow on me for real, for real. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So let's get into it. We're about to get into this new joint from the Village of the Smoke called Dapper Dan. And that's and we're gonna that's very interesting. That's a good title because right now Dapper Dan out of home is popping. Yeah. So yeah, I'm interested. All right, it's the it's the drop night show on, on Water Wa- Ice Radio. Show. I'm your girl K Wonder with my host Sean yeah. Beasley, and we are in the studio right now with Philly's own Village of the Smoke. That was their tune, their newest tune called Dapper, Dapper Dan. Hey, and that joint is yo. That's the that's it. I kind of feel it. You know why? Featuring because I feel like if I smoked weed right now, who? I'd be in a whole other world. Yeah, that's, that's featuring <laughs> featuring Cloud Atrium. Though. Okay, I can't. Yeah, we gonna talk about that later. But um, <laughs> we were getting into a topic, and I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna put it on pause. You know, I mean, it was about today's artists and how they basically answer interviews. Um, but the industry and the music industry in Philadelphia right now. The music how do y'all feel about Philly? Uzi? How do y'all feel about, um, you know, Butter knife. How are you, you asking about, about the musicians? Jeans. Are you hold on? Are you asking about <laughs> the musicians <laughs> in the city or the I, music I, industry I, in I'm the city? Collectively, the, the artists, the industry, like all of it, like. What artist out of Philly would y'all say, tomorrow I want to do a track with? And which artist would y'all be like, eh, curve? You know what I mean? PMB Rock, y'all fucking with him. Meek, you know, like who? It's all social. <laughs> it's all social? Um, no, it's all social. It's all social. He dope. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. He um, did a um, video with Lil Doe. Mm-hmm. Um, he's cool. I will, I want to do a collab with him. Um, Butter Knife. Maybe yeah, he kind of cool. <laughs> but everybody else, nah. Everybody <laughs> else, nah. I don't really like. You know okay. Because I feel like they too much copying each other's styles. Yeah. Everybody Facts. doing the same thing, so it's like, it's like somebody. Where's the do originality, right? Yeah. And that's Can what Village yeah, of the Smoke. So I, I ain't gonna say no names, but I, you know, I, I made my rounds in this motherfucker, right? Mm-hmm. And nine times out of ten, these niggas just like out for the money. And they're doing it for the money. Mm-hmm. When you got the, like, I've been on both sides of the field, the artists and the hood niggas. Mm-hmm. And the hood niggas just want to do it for the popularity and the money. You know what I'm saying? And, and the bitches. Yeah. And <laughs> and we want to do it because we actually want to spread the message and actually reach people. Like, that's what we need. And I'm just getting tired of these What's niggas. What's the message? So like, um, live life. like, you got to put some type of message. Like, in my stuff, like, you hear some pimp shit. Yeah. But then I literally tell you, you know, give you a whole game about how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? They just rapping about child. I'm tired of Meek. You know what I'm saying? Meek, when he first came in the MMG, I was liking it. 
But then he just went back to just being loud and flashy. Wow. Just getting tired of it. Like. And this is why the Drop Night Show has artists like you all on here because we need to spread the the, the realness. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, shout out to the young boys though. Such as. Uh, young boy named Young Nair, uh, uh, Stream J. These are kids that I actually came across and just was like, damn, I'm actually singing y'all song. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. Yeah. Okay. Young boys from South Philly. Young Nair, that's Nair. Young Nair, yeah. Young yeah. Nair, uh, what's the other boy? Ramir, uh, they, 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 um, their old head, what, what was his name? I forget his name. That's, uh, I think it was, God damn, that's that song. I can't remember. <laughs> but you know you was feeling it. I think, I like in this city, people don't hear about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Like, that, that was my, so that's why I asked the question, question about the industry and the artists. Okay. Because it's an industry in the city, even though it seems like it's not. Yeah. And yeah. then the artists, some of the artists are totally separate from the industry. Like a lot of the artists you named ha- came from the industry that the underground industry that's in the city, and now are on a higher plateau, so they don't really you know, or associate with the underground as much anymore. Mm-hmm. And some of them is bringing like Uzi was associated with the underground, with the Philadelphia underground scene. Right. So now he, he was or wasn't. He was. He was. Okay. So now he's bringing like some artists uh, with him, like working on Diane and the whole Maddie Ox. Maddie Ox came from a production group out of Northeast. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like the whole underground and the industry, I like the industry in the city right now because okay. it's coming up. People, more people are paying attention yeah, it's than going the people that got on are actually putting other people on. It's cool. So what did y'all respect. feel about Tunji? Oh, oh, shit. Tunji, yeah. That's yeah, our homie, cool. yo. That's my man. I yeah. know him way before he came out. Tunji cool. He's a cool guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's real cool. He ugly as shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> yo, when I, f- <laughs> when I first <laughs> met him. No, he did not. <laughs> yo, he actually. Asked, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me give him his props. Let me give him his props. Yeah, that's my man. That's little bro. I know him personally. He actually looking good now. Yeah. He actually looking good now, but when I Yo. first met him, I was like, "Damn, Tunji, I didn't even this know that was you last night." This is not real, <laughs> but then no, again, it that, is. That's why his name cousin Debo right. right now. He said he was Debo tonight. Yeah, right. But you know what? Does looks matter? It don't. Look at fucking Jay Z. No, 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 no I'm not talking about that. I'm just okay. saying. Just you okay. just brought Tunji. Every time I think of Tunji, I just be like, "This nigga." All right, because Tunji getting ass <laughs> on the regular. So he probably like, getting ass. I see his groupies. Right. So, but they groupies. If they, if he wasn't Tunji. It wouldn't be fucking with him. That's my man's. I love you, Tunji, but... You, you called him ugly to his face? <laughs> yes, when I first right. met this nigga, I was well, like, you was an ugly nigga. You called him ugly to his face. We ain't That's little bro. <laughs> we <got> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> we slept in the same... But I That's ain't slept bro. in the same like basement, we, but yeah. Yeah, we know You can go on Twitter somewhere. My old yeah. ass Twitter like somewhere. Like seven, and find eight me and years pictures ago and before anybody yeah. knew Tunji. We yeah, just did a... We did an interview with him because I'm I'm friends with Sean Barron. Word. Atlantic. So when he was in town, he was like, yo, you should go with Tunji. And I was like, all right, Ben. I said, who is he? He's like, oh, you know, um, Simi. Oh, all right, yeah, I know that record. Simi, <laughs> your location. That shit was ill. One day, Tony um. actually told me he admired, like, my work back in the day. That's, he was like, that's ill. That's, yeah, that's and then, I was, then, then, like, a few years later, I was like, damn, that's crazy. He's on. Yeah. He's like, on. He's and while Atlanta. you guys were in the studio, you you met little Uzi. Yeah. And he, Tony, <laughs> Uzi knows us, too. How they, they from the same clique. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it's rare. What I respect about the new wave of Philly, right? You Do you all consider yourself a part of the new wave? What is that? The new wave, the new sound. The new sound, the well, new it's artist. Not the, it's not the beat and single sound. and We got our own sound. We got our own sound. All right. Because right. right. you didn't, like, really. back in the day, you haven't, you didn't see the conglomerate between artists in Philly. Now you see it where these young artists are collabing with each other. They hopping on each other's tracks. I appreciate that about Yeah, Philly. like we had lights on We had here. lights on the show, yeah. yeah. So but let's get like, into this record, man. Gucci Man featuring Migos and Little Boat. You need Little Yachty? <laughs> yeah. That's his name, right? Spring little sandwich. Boat. He called himself Little Boat. I can't stand that Little Boat. I, like, to me, that's... <laughs> you got one more record. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, Spades. Actually, that video just dropped, too. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this is already. Village of the Smoke on the Drop Night Show. It's the Drop Night Show with your girl K Wonder and Sean Beasley. We are still in our interview with Village of the Smoke, Philadelphia Zone. Right now, we're going to get into <laughs> our sponsors. We got to pay some bills, right? So, yeah. 
Literally, we would not be able to produce this podcast if we did not have the sponsors of Samson Technology bringing all of the equipment that you see and hear us producing these shows with. Definitely shout out to Samson Technology. Follow them on IG, Facebook. They have all your equipment for production, podcast, you name it, they've got it. Um, Secondly, we want to shout out to our mothership waterice.com go to waterice.com for your scoop of everything philly to stay tuned and with all the events going on definitely go to their email blast and sign up for the email blast to find out what events are going on weekly throughout the city waterice.com your scoop to everything philly so let's get back into this interview with village of the smoke right y'all just shell shocked the hell out of me with the last thing y'all said but I'm going to just leave that where it is. <laughs> we were definitely talking about artists in Philly and um, whom which would y'all work with. And you guys were telling us and who you didn't really care for. Um, so with that, I want to bring up this one topic, right? It was really interesting within Twitter world and social media and definitely um, made some some news blasts. Um, there's a, a rapper by the name of Little Zane. Mm. All right, he's a 100% Mexican rapper. And uh, he was on Revolt. He did an interview with Revolt where they questioned him about how he felt about a bunch of artists. One of the artists was Tupac. And they asked, how did he feel about Tupac? And he rated Tupac with the number two. And he said Mm. his music was boring. Mm. Now, I like to hear how you all feel about that. You know what I mean? Not to say that he was wrong. In my eyes, in K Wonder's eyes, he was dead wrong. Now, Katie, what do you, what do you feel about that? We just gonna move it down. I feel like I feel like this. Everybody got their own opinion, and just because some person feel like some way stats and numbers don't lie, that's the way I feel. Okay. So if, <laughs> big and, boy talk. <laughs> and plus, if it's all about um just the content that Tupac made, you already know Tupac mm-hmm. doing some stuff. But um, Zan, he still got. A right to his opinion. He, Are he you a fan of me. him? Um, yeah. Okay. But that don't mean I don't like Tupac. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but I'm yeah, fine. I like I appreciate everybody for their creativity. As long as he be him himself, that's all I see. Okay. Uh, I don't even know who Lil Zan is. Thank to be you. Honest. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to Tupac, you know, I paid a lot of homage to Tupac because of his storytelling ability. Um, once I read the credits, though, and found M on different records and different writers, you know, it kind of broke down hip hop to me, mm-hmm. you know, and different artists. So hip hop to me and real lyricists, they write their own stuff. So <laughs> Pac, he got his own point system in my book. But uh, with Lil Xan, he's got to do a lot of digging. He can't say Tupac, all of Tupac's music is boring. Thank you. I, okay. I, I don't think that's a, a valid point. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just to, um, I see you thinking very hard over here. <laughs> just to feed off, bro. Um, it's crazy how they do all of that composing stuff. But one thing's for sure, two things for certain. Tupac did write all his own shit. It just, they had people in the room at the time. And everybody that they feel like they want to give money to, that's who get money. And that's who they bring in the room. So they bring these people in the room, they gel, they throw ideas around, and then Tupac go in there and lay his re- lay his lyrics down. That's usually how that go when uh, there's a whole bunch of composers on the record. But that's aside from the fact. Um, I don't know who Lil Xan is either, to be totally honest. Um, like KD said, I feel like if that's his opinion, that's his opinion. But that's a crazy opinion, bro. Right. He must have been on a lot of Zans. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. let's get into it. <laughs> um, Debo, little Debo. Uh, yeah. Tupac, Ash, and uh, Lil Zan is a legend. Excuse me? <laughs> wow. I'm with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, come again? <laughs> but you know what? You're entitled to your book. Um, no, nah, um, I, it's, I, I fuck with uh, Tupac, um, but the Lil Zan thing, yeah, that was drawing. But uh, I, from what I heard from Lil Xan, I like his music. Okay. I okay. actually heard him actually rapping and saying right. shit. So mm-hmm. I'm not even mad that how he felt the way he felt because honestly, I be feeling the same way about a lot of people. 
Mm-hmm. But that's because he know he got he's just confident. It just it just don't resonate with how he make music. Mm-hmm. Right. So Tupac is born in a way, but he don't deserve no two. Right. Definitely not no two. I right. give him an eight in my book. You know what I'm saying? I just said that for publicity too. I yeah, I, I totally like, concur. Right, that's what I was totally. saying about the pop, the the politics and all of that. Right, could have been Let, good. Pause. Let, let's let's hear what your what, what your man got to say over here about that whole um. scenario. <laughs> 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 nah, uh, that's that's the thing. Um, I know, like, first of all, a lot of the, these young artists or whatever thing, whatever, they're young. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they got a lot of growing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, they didn't grow up in the same society that we did or all that. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't really got it. It's cool. Whatever. They grew up watching fucking Fairly Odd Parents and shit. So they don't really know too much. <laughs> but, like, but like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, it, it kind of comes to a responsibility with us in a way. Like, yo, mm-hmm. like, you got to know the message. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because there's a message behind mm-hmm. things. You know what I'm saying? Everybody arguing about the Son of God, but where's the message? Right. right. Message, you know what I'm saying? So, right. I mean, Lil Xan saying that he corny, my thing is you don't understand him right now. You don't okay. understand Tupac. You don't understand mm-hmm. what he, what message he was trying to get across. You Lil Xan, you running around. You know what I'm saying? You just trying to dance and be lit all day. Like, so, yeah, you Tupac listen to Pac. Pac, lit. Pac One of to his you. lyrics yeah. literally said that a female's vagina tastes like rainbow. That's just publicity. Skittles. That's just publicity. He said that. That's a, that's a it was in his lyrics. Bar. That's a How super publicity. How old is Lil He's gotta be like he, 21, 22. He's very, he's young. And on top, of, on top of that, for real, for real, not even in the uh, like, like, like he, where he grew up at. Where did this boy grow up? In from? the suburbs. <laughs> he from the suburbs? All right, cool. That explains. That it makes up. sense too. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Because Tupac like, is from a no. whole bunch of struggle. Yeah, right. You know what I'm yeah, <laughs> but the the white kids in 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 rural areas of New Jersey and Philadelphia, Lancaster, wherever, they fuck with Tupac. You know why they fuck with Tupac? Because they take everything. No, they, they, they mess with <laughs> they, they mess with Tupac because they live through Tupac. True. People True. that people that people that don't know or ha- or haven't experienced the life look at it as something to glorify. The and Pac made it gangsters. something to personify. But all his and, lyrics and were not about some gangster shit. Like it's he not. did nah. resonate it's on not. some serious issues. Brendan's got a baby. You know what I mean? Real, Some real, real stuff. topics. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then on top of that, his interviews, which still to this day are being played, which was another aspect, a whole another aspect uh, of, of the person, of him, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Right. Just like his 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 uh, thespian, him being an actor, was a whole another you know a level or layer to Tupac. So I feel like for this kid, all right, give me your give me your feedback, right, cause you over here. No, I'm laughing because I looked him up. I'm like, this motherfucker's a suburban. He not gonna understand certain shit. All right. That's what I was trying to explain. He's just saying shit because he wanted publicity. That's all that shit is. Like, I'm like, he looked like he, he, he's a Mexican. He don't even look Mexican. I'm not saying that. Shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, you a suburban night. Like, chill the fuck out, young boy. <laughs> wow, pull the fuck up on you. <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? Shellyville. Population real niggas. Shellyville. Shelly the 30 way. Look at the 30. Fuck the 30. We got the 40, How my about nigga. The 40 way. With the dipping sauce. <laughs> <laughs> all organics, though. This is no, the new no, language no y'all are talking about. Yeah. Like Shellyville. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hold on. Can, 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 right, yo, oh, shout oh. out, hold on, the, the kid, the young boy, young near when we said the young boy, uh-huh. he came to our <laughs> studio, dropped his, or, you know, laid it in the drone, we shot the video for it, and we, uh, we was like, yo, did you hear what the fuck he just said in the song? It was a whole lot of, yo. it was a lot of remedial yo, stuff, bar. like, it was low level, okay. it was low level bars, near. but it was entertaining, like, it was like, it was hitting what with he, us. What he said to him? He said, um, I put a shell hit him in, him in his back, Mr. calling Shelly. Mr. Shelly. But it, so we laughed at it, but like we we slowed the song down because he said something else. Like he fucked up on his words. He said it's for fucking Getty. He said pulling strings like for fucking Getty. <laughs> yeah, like he. <laughs> so, but yo, you gotta hear this chop the screw. Wait, yo, it's good. Like, like yo. Nick, look, young boy, young boy, fucked that record up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. But y'all run, liked uh, it though. We yo, we you love that song. So, you did. so people who create their own. Wait a minute, how it go? Run, run, uh, it's some gang shit. You gon' wish you didn't. A forty old ass Smithin. Shout out, young hey. man. I now watch like this. All right, wait, wait. Don't hey. like get it in the other people too. I want to get a freestyle going. We Let's get love. a freestyle going real quick. All right. Damn, yo. All right. We don't. Okay, we can get a uh, acapella joint popping. Do y'all mind that? Yes, you want? Yeah. All right. Boom. Like we're about that. to right here on Water Ice Radio again. The, the Drop Night Show. We're about to get into an exclusive freestyle with. 
Village of the Smoke, aka the Village. All right, so we about to get into you this freestyle. Get a clap, no, no, I with the, I you want? Do, you want to? All right, Debo, want a hand clap? <laughs> 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 little, little he, he no, wanna to get on some soul clap. Y'all gonna, gonna come to me and I'm gonna be like, I have nothing for y'all. All right, so <laughs> so, sh so should we exclude you or how yeah, do you? Yeah, exclude me if y'all ain't gonna have right. me. Give me a beat. Yo, I mean, acapella. What's wrong with acapella? <laughs> you got a beat? You got the beat? Who the beat on? Who the beat on? Who the beat on? Straight roll. All right, let's go. I, you know, because at the end of the day, if, if there was somebody talking about, I got a million dollars right now, let me I hear something. They ain't have no record. I know y'all be like, la, 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 la. So, uh. Who said they ain't want that shit? I don't want that shit. Because, like, I'm like. What? I got a joke. Yeah, like, I'm good. Bro. But it's not like, sell, nah, but, it, nah, but it's like, not the sellout, though. It's not even He's like, sell. yo, just rap. Yo, if you ain't ready, yeah. you ain't ready. Yeah, yeah like, but, like, but still, I'm like, yo, I got this million beans. All right, you spent some so bars. listen, like, get out of my face. give it to who's ready. At the end of the day, who's ready? <laughs> I know Mills right. ready. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's you know what I'm saying? Um, no, nah, yo, set the wave. Bro. All right. Uh, save me from loneliness. All my shooters and homies, the feeling is humbling, holding back tears in the moment. The spark like a Tyler lead, a light in the silence. The darkness louder than riots. The pirates tired the mothership. Got my yard out of balance. Kill my niggas, calcified out with the diet shit. The jungle got blocks, planes got names. We call them streets like the bully. Rocking scully and hoodies, ain't eating fully. Still we thriving, creating juice and they copy it. Concentrated sloppy shit, save like a sloppy disc. Knock out, rocky, hockey, your head better watch your lips to surroundings. Heart pounding like a raft. Forgot how to swim. Chivalry cut off my arm so you could paddle with limb. My dead homies touch my skin so I can write them in hymns. Just got my sight rinsed again. And ate the earth and smoked it, drank a leg and flamed opponents with lines like bleach, chopping in the wind and got them frozen. The guy showed him flesh but couldn't get him golden. Locked in the cage, projecting outside of it like, what's the hold up, soul ripping? Body still moving like a soldier. Just moved out on some niggas, they thought it was pussy, so we rolled up. They ain't with the shits. We had it sold up from the jiffy like a looped fuck. Screw chop with walnuts, a fly on the wall, I absorb thought. Angle like a bangle, what's for dinner, gang toe up. We feasting while they asking in the laughter, we just pull up. I swear on Woda. Air showed up, it was so packed we couldn't fit in. The walls get the trembling, the balls peak ascension, the base of demon. Kill the fetus and eat the right leg. It's arm, leg, leg, arm, head, the God's head, man. Wow. Ad libs, tear gas, blasphemies and Kardashians. The X about to trim. The, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, that shit was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, alright. Yeah, this, yeah. All right, that's that's book of go. scriptures right there. Let's yeah. Who next? Um, since I got the mic, I'll just go ahead and do it. Um, <laughs> uh, fry the fertilize, how you like your eggs? That shit out here, all we worried about getting paid, shit. Stay with wine over there with the switch blade, but he chilling in his braids. Everything that we do, we sip lemonade while we in the shade. Made from the purest water, pH, you know what I'm saying? Keeping the balance. All them people talking, but they still ain't getting no violent. Um, we put it down every time we get inside the island, like the water be the water be falling up, but it's all good. Watch me file my fingernails while I'm plotting, thinking about getting some more figures. Matter of fact, maybe hopefully I can make a track with Rod Diggle. Who knows <laughs> how I blow? I can't show. I mean, matter of fact, these pros don't know. I go hard like never before. Still, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, reach everything that I can. Be the only man that I can when I'm chilling with the village. How we getting in it? All we ever do is just be talking to these children, tell them, tell them something else like, yo, do you get it? And they still be looking at us like, no, I don't get it. But <laughs> it's all good, you know what I'm saying? We understand all this take time. And you know what I'm saying? Just like this rhyme, I got to take my time. The blessings is everything that we do. And as long as I'm with my crew, that's good for me and it's good for you. So <laughs> guess Mars. what? Oh, I, I got just a little bit more to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People can't really understand it. They can't fuck with we. If you don't know nothing about the village, then use this true Munchung Geek. <laughs> Bar. <laughs> Bar. True Munchung Geek. I got something, man. Yeah. I got something. You got something? I got something. I got something. I just learned something. We ain't done yet. We just warming up. All right. 
work this like oh. fitness when I work with these gifts and spread them out like Christmas head crickets when these say this spill gimmicks redone the cost of freeze letters gotta hit there's no pressure when you hit the long stretcher put the mic drown with smooth ocean water patrol on the goose stay cool to no signs I slow spook and like remedial kids and when I bring the hell down they got immediate fit with their feet in the chair running for verse but like years words go left forever Brandon with the stitches make them wear sweaters while they sweating only difference they not carrying your weight I'm business pressing with me weight class laying bombs to midsections and this blessings don't get me to use break these shoes and get bruised by the black of my soul no control the opposed got the eyes closed cross and make them move and mind the bullets make the body change prime and world science priorities get made but ain't no slave to it not master you fish in the sea who try to nip the script rationally that you choose so much and chop the oxygen free in the streets with the ones and twos how we do bust it loose keep it cool like breeze of a cheese not the leaves of the trees i fall in the disease a mental seize on the mind i do the time for my mind's a god who keeps it in god watching this pride <laughs> yo he's spitting i thought he was gonna keep going i was like hold up yeah he about to close the shot. that was dope that was dope Come on, we got it. All right. All right, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Cheated and heated, I'm feeling so vexed. We treated like heathens and some kind of pets. Never defeated, just look at the best. Martin the Dreamer and Malcolm the X. Pete the disrespect, I must be direct. All eyes matter, yeah, but I've been oppressed. Gotta go hard, fuck the Jewish respect of a young nigga. Gotta represent. Let me circumvent. What we underwent will make you lament. If you took a sec, worry about a check, cause you discontent with the life you live. Hold up, take a breath. <gasps> That's a blessing, my nigga. Ain't no reason to be stressing, my nigga. Progression, my mission, I'm hella conditioned. So much ambition is there if you listen. My premonition ain't to make it. And I ain't even worried about the greatest. I just want to travel with my baby. Got a spanker and she misbehaving. Huh. Situation ain't the easiest. I'm a soap provider feeling devious. Reminiscing about the time previous. I was SWD list. Sipping sake on the Kawasaki. Knew a few Rockies that are too stocky. Did sake with you acting too cocky. Hey, you looking sloppy like a old jalopy. Know you want to copy, but you can't. Huh. Sorry, just being frank. You can never ever bite the swing. Pussy nigga, take it to the bank. Wow. wow. Yeah. Oh Debo. I don't even know who's right. Debo. Yo. I really don't know. Talk to him. <laughs> my nigga, this ain't nothing. I get your ass touched with a push of a button. My nigga, cut the bullshit and let's get to the money. Y'all playing Pokemon Go, y'all motherfuckers are simple. This G shit in my veins, a motherfucking tradition. With the wave of a hand, pop your ass like a pimple. Boy, I come from the bottom, see the dirtiest trenches. Grab a fucking cheesesteak, I'm a straight Philly nigga. South Street for the freaks, back in that Ishka Bibbles. I lost my rhymes, bitch, I said. Ah! But Ishka Bibbles my shit, so I ain't even gonna lie. Fuck with Ishka Bibbles. Now we vegan. No more meat. That's all for me. Y'all are all vegan? Hell yeah. yeah. How is that? Great. What you Wait, mean? Did, 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 this what is you, a collective hold on, hold idea? On, hold on, what you mean? How is it? Cause I, you know. How is it, KD? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I ask that because... <laughs> hold on, 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 how is that for you all? Was this like a, a collective thing? Did everyone do it on their own? I've been wanting to do it for a while, but it's very hard. You know now, what I mean? Now, when you say it's very, that's what I was, that's what I was, uh, one of the things I was trying to get at. What do you mean when you say it's very it's hard? It's hard. Wow. I grew up on everything meat. You know what I mean? So wow. I've been trying to make the transition. What's the hardest part Are you for all you? doing it for a spiritual thing? Or, okay, the hardest thing for me is everybody around eat meat. So I get around them and I'm just like, it's fuck easy it. To if you know better, you do better. <laughs> That's, all I that's one thing. That's part of it. It is spiritual, yes. Okay. Spirit has to, spirit just translates as breath. So when you eat a lot of meat and poultry and milk mm -hmm. and all the things right. that come from be meat, real. Meat Let's eaters, be real. Let's be real. Um, then it's a clogging of the arteries that comes along. The only true uh, disease is mucus. Right. So when you eat a lot of meat and all and all that fat clogs up in your system, it just translates as a bunch of mucus. Mm. So that's why you have people that With get cardiac arrest and, and can't breathe right. and diabetes and all of that kind of stuff. All of that kind of all of that kind of stuff comes from a deficiency of the cells getting what they need, which is the sugars, because it's being blocked by all the fat that you put in your body. And I guess why we would wow. we would say we're vegan is because we're like reprogramming our minds and our bodies. 
So just like you said, you came up, you came up around the meat and around all these different things. We've understood that this many years, I'm 23, actually I'm 24, 24 years I've been eating this this type of food. Now that I have a daughter, it's like, yo, I want to teach her from the jump that this is right for you. And if you want to, you know, taste it for me and the meat and all that stuff, you know, you know what to come back to, you know, and you know the difference. But the spiritual aspect, if your body is a temple, you can't fill it with flesh. So that's a graveyard. Yo, but what we gonna do right now, we gonna get it into Ray Schremer. Oh. Yo, they really killing it right power, now. Okay, with the power glide. With power right. glide. Hey, so we gonna do that. Let's get into that right now. It's the Drop Night Show on Water Ice Radio. Yo, it's the Drop Night Show on Water Ice Radio. Your man Sean BC and K Wonder, and we hey. back with Village of the Smoke. Yo, Indeed. these boys are really smart, smart, smart. Smart. So do you, Artists. They're, too, they're, they're really smart. Do you all <laughs> like feel smart. like you're ahead of your time? Or ahead of this vibe? Yeah. 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 It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy you ask that. Why? It's crazy you ask that. Because just, because, just based off me and Sonny's journey specifically, it's a lot of things that we have done like a year or so prior. And then you a popular artist come out and do it. And it's like, yo... <laughs> Bid on that. Or like the old boy documentary for a prime example, like we we made it four years ago. Mm-hmm. We're just putting it out now. Like wow. people are gonna just resonate it with it now. Like So you guys so. are way ahead of your time. I really feel that. Especially on the whole idea that because we were just in a whole conversations behind the scene, how Village of the Smoke are basically vegans, um, with the exception of one or two management wise that are pescatarian but, but they actually are possibly and will be soon starting their own um what would you call it your own I guess you could say a vegan catering company there we go yeah. okay. basically we want to be able to deliver platters uh consult people with different uh like recipes and even in-house stuff me and mills talked about that with the intro it's a big thing that we're tapping into, and we want to make sure we have the foundation right before we even just put it out there. Because anything half-assed, you know, guys. And, right. And I can mention because you know I, I I live in LA as well, so LA is big thing out there. Oh yeah. Right. But Philadelphia, not in our community. Like if you go to LA, black, white, Latino, you know, they all on it. Over here, you gotta peep Philly. We're well, known for the cheesesteak. We know for the cheesesteak, and people have emotional ties to the cheesesteak. Right. You go outside, you smell it. You emotionally tied to this cheesesteak. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Until right you try now, these I'm new not things. Hold you. <laughs> yeah. I'm Did not he just hold say you. he wanted a cheesesteak? Yeah, I want one. I said I was still want it. So I want one. Yeah. We still so have. You have we still the have the urges. Alternative to it, which is what? I mean, Satan. You can go to Hibiscus. Can get uh, Hibiscus is on uh, 49th in Baltimore. Hibiscus Shout out to them. Hibiscus is a great one. Yeah, that helped us with the transition. Blackbird, uh, I heard down of that. on South Street, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, what is it, Govinda's on so South it Street as well. So it's not expensive to live that lifestyle, right? It's expensive to eat out. Yeah. If you <laughs> eating out, vegan, <laughs> yeah. sure, that's then that's expensive. But yeah. eating out is expensive, yeah. period, unless you're doing quote yeah. unquote fast food. Gems. Yeah. Straight knowledge yourself right now, also, and I apologize, my uh, my Moorish brothers. Again, I I I totally I want to get into what you had to say. We're about to we're about to close out because time is running down. Again, everybody. These young men follow, download. Follow, I mean, like, if y'all want to learn how to eat right, if y'all want to learn more about yourself, despite you know the race, because I'm sure you talk to other individuals of, of other ethnicities and break them down. As well. So yeah, follow Village of the Smoke, and they will <laughs> they will uh, you know follow what they're doing. And thank you guys for coming here. We really yeah do. we, we really appreciate, appreciate this. Appreciate we will yeah. definitely appreciate be supporting everything y'all are doing. Please. Let us know so we can keep posting it. You know yeah, what I mean? Here on Word Ice sure. Radio on the Drop Night Show, we support talent. You know what I mean? Period. And right. raw talent like you guys got is something that you can't ever put a value on. So right. big up to everybody right now in the place. It's the Drop Night Show. I'm your girl, K. And I'm Wonder. saying it right now. Stop comparing them to Wu-Tang. Stop. Yeah. Stop, Stop, it. It. Stop, it. Stop, Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Do not Order. compare Village of the Smoke. To Wu Tang. And don't ever call us black ever again in your life. Ever. If you want to call me something, call me a free white person. Because for real, for real, that's what we are. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Facts. It's facts. <laughs> He's about to kill me right now. <laughs> yeah. We so. talk about the black Christian codes and shit right now. Oh, oh. All right. I'm going to pause. Oh. It's the Drop Night Show. Or what I oh, what I do. Oh, what I do.